because we are not hierarchical, we do not see this relationship as underneath this one. Mm -hmm. And just like his relationship with Gretchen, our relationship is not underneath that one. We are linear. So in my head, he has just as much right as Jerry does. What do you say to the person that you love most in the world when they say they have feelings for someone else? It's, it's, it's an adjustment. It was fearful. Um, it was anxiety producing. And what did you decide? Well, at the end of it, um, approximately one month, um, I said, go for it. They are much more compatible sexually than Joe and I are, for example. So for me, it's lovely for somebody else to take a turn at the wheel. Do you and Joe still have a physical sexual relationship? Yes, we do. Not as much as he would like and more than I would like, but we're somewhere in the middle and we compromise to make things work. But then Heidi comes over and she takes a big part of that away from the stress of our relationship because she and he adore being physical. They adore that kind of, um, that sexual intimacy. Mm. I love you. Do you worry about Jerry? I worry that he's lonely sometimes, sometimes. but I can't see a scenario where I would leave Joe. We kind of operate from this place of, I am not responsible for Jerry's feelings and he is not responsible for mine. Now, we can impact them, we sure. can um, help with them, we can do all that, but his loneliness is not my responsibility. It's not Heidi's responsibility to make Jerry happy, it's Jerry's responsibility. But come to see polyamory as a way of doing love that in promising fulfillment brings with it inevitable complications. A life lived arguably more dangerously, but with more rewards where the possibility of happiness is inescapably bound up with the risk of being left behind. I'm going to miss you. I don't want you to go. I love you. <laughs>